What's up, YouTube? It's your boy CEO Becoming Man. I'm back with another video, man. Hey, today, you see it. We got NBA 2K25 gameplay that came out, bro. Only play now gameplay so far, bro. But tomorrow, we are getting my player builder gameplay, bro. So, it's my core gameplay, too. But we're going to see what this builder actually looking like. So, you guys can base your builds off of what you see coming out tomorrow, man. But, hey, man, I ain't doing too much talking, bro. Let's get straight to it. Now, we are watching Simply Grinding's video. Shout out to Simply Grinding. Bro, I'm not going to lie. You did a great video today if you're watching this vid. But, bro, he did a great vid, a breakdown of everything from dribbling to shooting and dunking. And that's what we're going to be going over when I watch this. I'm going to get my opinion on it. He's going over dribble moves to start. So, let's start with that. Let's get straight to it, boys. Change in NBA 2K25 is the dribbling system. You cannot speed boost the same way you did in NBA 2K24 in NBA 2K25. Now, I know the 2K community. I know all y'all heard out of that sentence was you cannot speed boost in NBA 2K25. And I ain't gonna lie, that looks terrible, bro. That speed boost, that, that looks terrible, bro. I don't think it's that. I feel like it's gonna be a combo, a nice... You gonna have to combo a lot, combo up a lot in this game, bro. And, and then you're gonna have to really mix your defender to get open, bro. Like, that's why the go to signature shots were put into the game. So you could do a combo, combo, step back, create space with that type of move. I feel like it's gonna be a combo up game. You can't just run around people, go run left, right. It takes actually real skill. Break down your player. You and know? that's just not true. You can speed boost in NBA 2K25. Like really just break not down the your same defense, way you did in 2K24. To speed boost last year, all you had to do was do a hezzy to the right side and sprint to the right side, and you would get a speed boost to the right side. And vice versa, if you did a hezzy to the left side like, and sprinted terrible, to the left side, bro. you would get a speed boost to the left side. Like, but if you right try to do that I'm, in NBA 2K25, you get so I'm, a I'm really actually hyped slow that, run animation. Right Basically, a run animation that will not get you open against any real human unless they are missing Ooh, both of their thumbs. Nah, Instead, the smooth, most effective way to get open in Duncan NBA 2K25 smooth, is by utilizing your right and shoot. left stick. Somebody please show this clip I got to Stizo. It's nothing crazy in the slightest. It's not even good. But you can like, clearly see the see, difference between how you fast see, your player moves when you... You see he's moving kind of fast. Like he's moving very quick when he moves left, right, left, right. Like, like, like he's moving very fast, bro. Like when he... He trying to when he's dribbling with his left stick a little more he's moving way faster bro like he's just moving way faster than trying to run around like that was a little quick speed boost that was a little quick speed boost right there that was just a little quick one like here come like right here he crossed left run then he runs right there like that's the little it's probably the only thing closest to a speed boost that i've seen so far but it's going to be a combo up game you have to really get your combo skills together bro your stick skills together bro like run that's the only thing i can say that's closest to speed boost other than that bro speed boosting just may not be in the game and that may be for a good reason you never know let's see and the reason i said show it to stizo is because this little mini spin back thing i do it just seems like something he would do like a half hezzy out of and turn it into a crazy like combo a listen i'm not a calm dribbler i've never claimed to be one all i am is a 2k no life who sweats the park so i'm gonna leave the dribbling and speed boost into the dribble head but for my 2k players out there who want to have a high win percentage on day one i did go out of my way to find the best dribble bro, moves you should equip if crazy. your build Run, allows it so let's go over those right now two returning moves from 2k24 Run, that are still good on two for the dribble head but for my 2k players out there who want to have a high win percentage on day one i did go out of my way to find the best your moves you should equip if you're who like he's just gliding up the court bro he's doing whatever he wants bro like he's just that blowout animation is crazy he's moving very fast bro i like that windmill though that joint that joint clean <laughs> that windmill clean man on 2K25 are of course the LeBron step back in the Trey Young size up escape. A new animation that's really good in 2K25 is the Trey Young Hezzy, which you can see gives you a misdirection animation that you can combo into a left step crossover to get a speed boost on the mm, okay, opposite side. Sense. Literally any dribble animation from De'Aaron Fox is goaded. You can just instantly see that when he's dribbling, it looks way more fluent than any other NBA player in the entire game. And finally, the dribble move that I predict will that save Giannis six foot six crazy. in taller builds this year is the Giannis Antetokounmpo His moving move crossover. The, I'm not even showing. I would be so surprised the if there's guards, even that might one be the crossover move, better than this crossover at launch. I tested out hundreds of NBA players during my time with this quick play footage really and not crazy, a single bro. one came <laughs> even it's, close it's to competing with like, the explosive. Like it looked crazy seeing this park back bro. I'm not even gonna lie like Rivet looks good bro. This is only for my team. Rivet is only for my team bro if you guys did not know. Rivet is only for my team. This is why you see Giannis, Luka, 
right here in the corner. You see Capella right here, bro. You see Ant over there running at him, bro. This is for my team only, bro. So that's why it's for like you're in Ribbit. Ribbit is for my team only, bro. I think this is just my player right here. If my player stands on the side of the court and just watches the game after you pick your three, your three my team cards that you want to play with. So it looks decent, bro. Ribbit looks smooth, bro. I like the top right right here. This new icon in the corner, like the new points, you know, the grade. I like it, bro. It looks kind of smooth, man. Aggressiveness you get out of this moving crossover. You literally just fly through the paint and it crosses over to the opposite ball hand, so the defense doesn't have time to react. Now, I will say That's this is obviously OP, on Giannis, who is right six foot ten and super long, but I just can't see this move not being overpowered on a six foot eight definitely max OP, wingspan bro. iso definitely. build. Just absolutely steamrolling through the paint. Between this moving crossover and the blowout dribble from last year, which by the way the controls changed for, instead of just tapping RT to do this blowout dribble from full court you actually have to hold rt and flick up on your right stick hold just something i wanted y'all to know different controls same effectiveness just a really fast way for you to get up the court but you can only use it from full court now so once you get to half court you can implement this Giannis moving crossover and get a free fast break done now i don't want to go too into to dribbling to because y'all know how it goes break, first week sure. everyone always figures out the meta sigs and then the rest is history from there nice. what i will nice. say my first impressions on the dribbling is that speed boosting is completely completely changed meaning there's obviously a different way to do it in the game this year that isn't like any other year and two the drill moves that we did get i actually like a lot we just need to figure out how to speed boost out of them for them to be actually effective and i've heard that a couple creators at community day have figured it out which gives me a lot of hope on the off chance that the speed boosting is terrible off of these new cool looking moves i'm not gonna lie mike we gonna need a hot fix because being able to speed boost off these new moves would make the game fun all right so we've covered takeover we've covered right, here we the go this is what i came to see to cover is a minor change to the dunk, dunk meter. meter. First, bro. let's talk about the driving dunk meter. The controls are exactly the same as they were last hey, year. Dunk right kind stick, of fun, though, down bro. on like, your right stick, which will allow you to go for a nasty contact time. dunk animation, and he some of the animations are insane. A lot of them are just outright disrespectful to your opponent, bro. I love it. But what I did notice is it was taking me a little bit longer to get used to the dunk meter this year. Because whenever I was going for the dunk meter, it wouldn't do it. And about two hours in, I finally realized the reason the dunk meter wasn't activated Dunk like, meter. That's, that's a Those realistic. are exactly the same as that they were last year. You flick up on bro. your right stick and then you flick down like, on your like, right like stick, that, which will that, allow you to go for a nasty contact, contact really dunk cool. animation. And some of the animations one are one insane. A lot of them are just outright that one disrespectful. One to that was your just like bro, I love it. Crazy, but what I did notice is it was taking me a little bit longer to get used to the dunk meter this year. Because whenever I was going for the dunk meter, it wouldn't do it. And about two hours in, I finally realized the reason the dunk meter wasn't activating is because you have to start the dunk. Hey, I think Joffin really hurt him in his. Hold on. Meter animation <laughs> way earlier. But like that animation Giannis just did over Austin Reeves, bro. That's probably the most realistic animation I've seen, bro. Like that animation is very. And notice is it was taking me a little bit longer to get used to the dunk. Like that animation's fire, bro. I'm looking forward to having contact on on my build, no doubt, bro. No doubt. Animation way earlier this year. My pro tip to you guys, if you're making a build that has a high driving dunk, like I am going to, I want Legend Posterizer. But if you're going to be going for contact dunks with the dunk meter, you want to start the dunk meter animation right before you get to the free throw line. I know that sounds insane, especially on a small build like John Morant's build. He's six foot three. You would think that you would have to start it closer to the paint. But genuinely, you start the dunk meter animation right when you're about to cross the free throw line. If you do that every time, I ain't gonna lie, if you guys didn't know that, that's how it's always been, bro. You have to do the dunk meter early, bro, to activate it. You know what I'm saying? The earlier you do it, it kind of gives you the animation before your defender can actually react, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually kind of, it's kind of decent, it's kind of the same, but there is a new dunk meter. But I'm actually liking that it's probably gonna take a little bit more skill to do the dunk meter, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just can't run to the rim and just dunk on anybody because, you feel me, you timed it. It's actually gonna take a little bit more skill. I'm liking this, bro time you go for a dunk meter you will actually start the dunk meter animation i promise you but if you try and risk it and wait till you're closer in the paint and do a last second dunk meter you're gonna be getting a lot of contact layups or your player is just gonna do a random hezzy in the paint and it's gonna look really stupid so just make sure to write that in your notes some yeah boys so i ain't gonna lie bro that's the that's the first half of the gameplay bro i don't want to overload you guys with so much in one full gameplay bro so i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be back with another segment of this gameplay bro so if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel i'll be back with more vids it's your boy ceo man i'm out of here peace